Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always precede and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The palace of aliens is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a refuge to the poor, a refuge to the needy in their distress, a shelter from the rainstorm and a shade from the heat. When the blast of the ruthless was like a winter rainstorm, the noise of aliens like heat in a dry place, you subdued the heat with the shade of clouds. The song of the ruthless was stilled. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is kept over all the peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Psalm 23, let us read the psalm together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading from Matthew 22. Once more, Jesus spoke to the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves saying, tell those who have been invited, look, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. 
come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burnt their city. Then he said to his slaves, the wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. The Apostles' Creed, let us say the creed together. I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to death. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church the communion of saints, saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, sins, of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the mind life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We, we praise, praise you, you and thank, and thank you, you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise, praise you, you and thank, and thank, you, thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise, we praise you and thank you, and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and awareness of your presence. 
Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You You have have declared declared your your power power among the the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light light, we see light. light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal Heal us and and make make us whole. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together a general thanksgiving for all the blessings that are gifts from God. Accept, Accept O Lord, Lord, our thanks our and thanks praise, praise for all, all that you have done, have done for us. For us. We, we thank, thank you for the, for the splendor, splendor of the whole creation. Whole creation. For the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts, and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We We thank you also for those disappointments and failures failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your Spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. And now let us pray the prayer our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And now may the wisdom of God, the love of God, and the grace of God strengthen you to be Christ's hands and heart in this world. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.